Today I'm about to meet Safura, a really good musician and artist and composer. So let's see if we can find her. There she is. You're filming! <laughs> <laughs> It's full of surprises. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thank you. Do you what are you doing in Ostashon? Where should I look? At the where people? You, where are you, you are? At you at or me. at the people? <laughs> they might like some eye contact too. Maybe, yeah, sure. <laughs> why are you in Ostashon? I'm here because I'm on a Christmas tour. Oh, it's fun? Yes, lots yeah. of fun. But you have lived here, or yeah. close to Ostashon anyway. Actually, I grew up here. Yeah? Yeah, when I was five. Years old, we came to Sweden from Iran, mm. and I grew up here in the woods, in the north of Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> How long did you stay here then? Uh, I was here until I was 13 years old. Then we moved to Gothenburg, mm. and then I moved around to Spain, and I was a lot in the US with my sister, and then I moved back here when I was 24. Okay. And I was here for five years. Yeah. And now I live in Stockholm. Oh. Describe your work. I've chosen music to be my tool yeah. in um, expressing myself and uh, handling life. <laughs> 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 and I've tried to make a living out of it. So I would guess uh, if I would try to describe it more professionally, I would say I'm a sound designer and composer and artist. Yeah. But now you know the reasons behind it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, and the, the question then is, what is your goal with your music? What do you want to achieve with music? I, I think I use music to open up, open up different realms yeah. of awareness. For yourself? For myself and others. And others? Yeah. yeah. It's, the, it's the best tool for discovering life. I think. Yeah, and it's universal. Yes, it's universal. It's um, everybody can relate to it somehow, and and it's also metaphysical. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Robbed of your freedom, your free will and fear. Oppression will never break down your will to stand up together, unite to prevail, my sisters and brothers. start with music or how did you start with music? Uh, I was uh, 13 years old. That's the age when you, you know you start seeing the world and yeah and uh, thinking about stuff and I saw so much pain and uh, um, so much injustice and I felt like what can I do? What can a 13 year old do? And so I wrote a song. Uh, That's had, very mature, mature I, I would say, for a 13-year-old anyway. Maybe. I had older siblings, yeah. so maybe I was always a little bit... Um, I hanged out with them a lot. Yeah. Uh, and my brother, uh, who is also a musician, he was a big inspiration for me. He mm. bought me my first guitar and taught me how to play. So I wrote a song, and then I was thinking maybe I can... Maybe I can change the world <laughs> with music. You know, the big thoughts you have as a child. Yeah. And uh, so I chose that as my goal. Yeah. And then I went And then for you it. worked hard for it. Yeah. Yeah. But what instruments do you play then? I play guitar uh, mm. and uh, I sing. Those are my main instruments. But I also uh, play a little bit of bass guitar. And, um, and I also play MIDI keyboard. Yeah, meeting you yes. for the studio work. Which, uh, yeah, which actually makes me a multi-musical uh, person because I can play all the instruments <laughs> with my MIDI keyboard. <laughs> yeah, but you told me once that your dream was to play the bass. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is that still your dream? Yes, I still love the bass a lot. Bass is amazing because you also get like the groove, the rhythm and the harmony in it, like yeah. somehow, so... 
all my life I played guitar and uh, sang, but when I started playing a little bit bass and singing, I, I feel I feel more grounded on stage. My energy feels more grounded. Both feet on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Describe then what kind of work you're doing right now uh, as a musician, composer and artist. Yeah, right now I am uh, making my living uh, through mostly sound design and composing for theater. Mm -hmm. So I work, I'm a freelancer, I travel to different cities, work with different uh, theater companies and uh, I'm with the team a creative team creating the world that the spectacle is going to take place in. Mm. So sound-wise, I have the responsibility for it. It's very different from being an artist. Mm. What kind of artist works do you, work do you do? I know uh, that you perform with your uh, performing with your sister. Yes. You have a band. Mm -hmm. mm. So I started off uh, my artistic career with my sister. We started a band call, uh, which we call Objis, which means sisters in. Persian slang. And uh, we were the first band with the uh, female front, uh, alternative band, who, which made, uh, like, presented reggae music, ska music in Persian. Okay. So uh, all our lyrics uh, mostly are in Persian, in Farsi, and, but the music is, uh, can be different styles. Yeah. So we started in 2005 and um, uh, right now we are not so uh, active as a group, uh, but uh, we both, my sister and I, we're both working creatively and we support each other. But, and who knows, maybe objects will get together one day, but as long as we're sisters, objects exist. Then I have to mention the White House. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to, yeah. because you have performed in the White House. Yes, uh, we were invited to the White House as um, my sister lives in the US, she's a US citizen. So uh, in 2016, Michelle Obama, she invited a lot of Iranians who were, uh, had achieved things in their careers, successful Iranians in the US to come to the White House for a no ruse celebration, the new year, Persian New Year. New Year, yeah, yeah. the fire. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So we End were- End of March. A 20, March 21st usually, yeah. around. Uh, and so, yeah, it was a very special occasion to be there. Yeah? Mm. So you met so with realistic. the president and... Um, uh, no, just uh, Mrs. Obama. Mrs. Obama, yes. you met with her, mm -hmm. okay. Mm. Well, that must have been an experience. Yes, it yeah. was uh, very special, very special. Yeah. What is the most common question you get about your work? Oh, I don't know what's the most common. Uh, I think what my work is so diverse, so it's a bit difficult to answer that question. Uh, same as me. If, yeah. No. <laughs> if you would say about objects or about sound design or about composing, or then it would be more easy. But in general, about my work... Okay, the most common question I get is, what is your job? Yeah, I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that, that about my work, it's like, what do you really do? <laughs> <laughs> You've already said that this, but you were born in Iran. Mm -hmm. And you came to Sweden when you were four or five or yes. something? Yes, yeah. we, we left Iran when I was four and a half. Yeah. We lived in India for six months. Oh, really? Yeah, before we came to mm. Sweden. What is your opinion now, what is your thoughts about what's happening in Iran? Very mixed feelings about what's happening in Iran because um, uh, it has been, it's a country that has been repressed for, politically uh, re repressed for f over 40 years. So it's a part of, uh, my, it has always been a part of my life. I yeah. was born after, just after the revolution of 1979. Um, and so what is happening now to see the youth taking a step uh, and saying no to this brutality is of course amazing. And it's a very empowering feeling that we want to support everybody 
at the same time, it's horrible and devastating because they're being brutally uh, killed because they're standing up for their basic human rights. It's it's so it's difficult to understand to grasp it actually. Mm. But uh, so it's very mixed. I think most Iranians right now feel this very mixed feeling of hope uh, but despair yes. at the same time. For me, it's an obvious choice. It's not even a choice. It's like being normal to support people's fight for freedom and mm -hmm. human rights, basic human rights, actually. Mm -hmm. What can people do to support this? What we're hearing from Iran is that people from Iran are saying, be our voice. Uh, so they're saying, please just don't let this be shut down. Uh, so we need to keep this alive. We need to keep the information flowing so we can um, uh, spread their information to the, to the world so that the government see and the people who are in charge can react. I think that we should not feel too hopeless and feel like, oh, what, it doesn't matter what I do here. I think that just keeping uh, the conversation alive, talking about it, thinking that this is actually about uh, human rights. Say whatever I want to say, choose the clothes I want to wear. I walk on my own chosen way, believe in a God that deserves my prayer. Walk hand in hand with the one I love, read and write without approval. Express myself to any Lord above, love and be loved without accusation. Back to the music. Mm -hmm. um, but not back to the music, actually. Mm -hmm. um, you work with music. Yes. That's the only thing you do, so to speak. You don't have yes. a job. No, I don't. <laughs> do you have other hobbies besides music? Uh, my hobbies are spirituality. Spirituality? Yes. Oh. So I love reading about it. Uh, I love everything that is about the metaphysical, about... Um, discovering the deeper realms of humanity. Okay. And this is a very big interest. That's, that's why it's like, that's why I say that music is my tool. Ah. So this is my biggest interest actually okay. in life. I always end with seven quick ones. Okay. Mm. And the seven quick ones is I ask you a question and you answer as quickly as you oh my can. God. The first thing that comes to mind. Uh, coffee or tea? Coffee. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> yeah. I'm terrified. Composing or performing? Ah, uh, performing. Surprised myself. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite place for a holiday? Maldives. I haven't been there. I really want to go there. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is a hard one. Okay. Guitar or bass? Ah, this is a hard one. In what context? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you say both. Yes. Summer or winter? Summer. Korme sabzi or Swedish meatballs? Korme <laughs> sabzi. <laughs> <laughs> to or from a gig, do you listen to music? To or from a gig? Might listen to a gig. But Probably. not from And the from gig. the gig, I would listen at, I would listen at the gig. Uh, <laughs> well, we just recorded, so I see how it sounded. <laughs> I understand. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. And Roger that. Yes. Ro Roger that. Perfect. Nej, och sen bättre. Jag säger det säger det bättre. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank and, you. And Roger that. Roger that. <laughs> <laughs>